and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the new speed presented to you by Lady Sly and Survivor. Follow, follow the beat, follow the beat from the studio to the street. Info with the flow, keep you shepherd in the know. Sit back, relax, enjoy the news, follow. DNL continues to fascinate the masses of all classes and every age. A scientific method based on genealogy, something that most did learn in biology. Homes are broken up, people have woken up. Wounds have been healed, the truth has been revealed. Faith has been tested. Love has been wasted. All to belong. All to right and wrong. Dr. Chameleon has joined the caravan and stepped to the plate like a true African. He sent an alarm to all mamas of his kids to bring them along. DNA is all he needs. What about the ladies? Is that all they need? The kid needs a pumper. The kid needs a bib. Mama needs a jumper. Mama needs a weave. DNA reveals and DNA relieves. 1,675 people from all over the world made the Forbes list of billionaires, self-made adheres, inventors and entrepreneurs. Americans, Chinese, Russians are the leading rich. Africa remains in the ditch. Indeed, a worrying reality is the wealth gap. Global poverty is going up. But great news for Uganda comes to Sudil. The self-made billionaire is up on the hill. Two million dollar wedding party for his daughter. And the wedding gift? I wonder what he bought her. As the world witnesses more unrest, old models are really put to a test. Sudil, Zuckerberg, all Bill Gates started up their businesses from scratch. And got money, power and big estates, lighting up the world with a single march. Today's special report is on entrepreneurship, the mastermind behind the famous Adivat, featuring Uganda's beloved Kipro Teach. Let's hear from MC Loy, reporting from Media 256. Uganda has the youngest population in the world. 7 out of 10 people are less than 30 years old. 8 out of 10 are unemployed. Even with a degree or diploma, finding work is still a drama. Too many job seekers and too few job creators. Now with Isaac, who bought young man who didn't wait for his luck. At 18, he started his own media company. Now he's 24 and he's got 7 employees. His company is called Media 256. And Isaac made it on a very special Forbes list as one of the 30 young entrepreneurs in Africa. What a great inspiration for the youth in Uganda. So Isaac, what's your message to the people watching the show? To everyone watching the show, if you're out there and you have an idea, you have a concept, go ahead and get started. Don't wait for the stars to line up. Don't wait to get all the capital in the world. If we waited for capital, we wouldn't have you know, the likes of Facebook, Google, or any of these big companies. Just go out there and get started. This is MC Loy reporting for News Beats in Tinder. Thank you, MC Loy. Such an amazing boy. Let's hope it inspires the younger generation. Challenges can be overcome with determination, a bit of luck, and a lot of hard work. Another idea can be to start up a new religion. Every another day, a pastor makes a million. One Nigerian pastor, Priniwa, is particularly blessed. He has a Rolls Royce and a private jet. He prays on the week and knows how to speak. Hands you a check as you turn the other cheek. He will take your money, your car, your wife. You will pay the price at a discount for the afterlife. They say health is wealth, but only for the wealthy. Many hospitals, most of them filthy. Not fit for animals, not fit for me. MPs agree, but when they get sick, they flee. They fly for treatment in India and America, while the rest of Uganda still die of malaria. We lack human resources in the health sector. 10,000 Ugandas for every one doctor. $150 million was the medical bill of our MPs. They must have been ill. The positive side of expensive treatment is that now we have the healthiest government. Rwanda is more successful in preventive, more than curative. Now that's proactive. 50% of Ugandans don't have access to safe drinking water and need for the masses. Puts them in harm's way of cholera and diarrhea, waterborne killers. That was the news on the beat. Next week will be another hit. Still Lady Sly. And Survivor. Reporting live and direct with love and respect. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat. Follow the beat.